Susano, the most powerful Uchiha clan dojutsu available to those who have awakened Mengekyo Sharingan in both eyes. What's good everyone, it's your boy anime analyst aka the young jiggy ninja and today I'm gonna be spitting some ninja knowledge at you people. Also known as the god of storms in Shinto religion and brother to Amaterasu, sun goddess, and Sikiyomi, the moon god, Susano was the third child to Izanagi. Now there is a slight nod to this sibling connection in the original Naruto series where it stated that only those who unlock both Mengekyo Sharingan techniques, Amaterasu and Tsukiyomi, will be able to attain the third technique, Susano. These rules slash conditions were later refined to Susano being accessible to any user that just has two Mengekyo Sharingan. In Naruto, Susano is a humanoid chakra veil that surrounds the user and essentially becomes an extension of their will. If you ever watch Power Rangers, you can basically think of it as a personal megazord type of thing like anything they do susano's gonna do this technique was first seen in naruto manga chapter 391 titled together with the thunder itachi activated it in order to survive an almost devastating blow from sasuke's kirin attack during the battle this is the only thing that saved him and i clearly remember seeing the susano when it debuted in this battle and i really didn't know what it was it looked like nothing i had ever seen before and i couldn't relate it to anything as well because generally in naruto a lot of designs and stuff relate to something else in the world but here's some insight on susano's overall inspiration slash appearance susano's in the naruto anime and manga are highly derived and influenced from these things in japanese folk religion called tengu which translates roughly to heavenly dog tengu are a type of legendary creature that are sometimes considered shinto gods so they originally took on the form of birds, but as time went on, they were humanized a bit more and it left like human and bird characteristics with them. So an example of that would be the first Tengus were imagined with beaks, but now since they were humanized, a lot of modern Tengu have unnaturally long noses that you may have seen with the Susano, like Madara's, like all the perfect Susanos have long noses. Susanos also have two sets of arms, which the second pair act as wings when perfect Susano is achieved. When you actually look at the Susano wings, you can still see the hands up at the top of them. This is also kind of towards the bird characteristics. The Susano arms turn to wings eventually. All right, so Tengu are associated with the life practice known as Shugendo. This involves revolving life around becoming one with humanity and nature. In their final forms, Susano's garbs are based off Shugendo practitioner known as Yamabushi. So those garbs that you see the Susano wearing in their perfect forms, those are reminiscent of Yamabushi, those who who practice Shugendo. So that's where the inspiration came from. It's a lot of stuff from Japanese uh, folklore and Japanese uh, Shinto type stuff. Sasuke Susano is very reminiscent of basically Karasu Tengu, which are like crow Tengus, and uh, Itachi and Madara's are are very reminiscent of like the demon long nose Tengus. The appearance of Susano is also sometimes largely influenced by the persona of the user. An example of that would be like when Sasuke had a demon like appearance with his Susano because of all the hatred he had in his soul. The chakra that manifests Susano is able to mix with different types of chakra to create different effects. This can be seen when Sasuke absorbs some of Jugo's uh, nature chakra. Sasuke gets curse marked Susano, which is basically Senjutsu. And then Sasuke, on the final battle with Naruto, Sasuke Susano mixes with the Bijou chakra to invoke a transformation that is basically the Bijou perfect Susano. As you guys already know, Susano has different developmental stages, and experienced users are able to selectively use parts of the stages that are needed. When damaged, Susano cannot regenerate. It's not something that, that is that powerful that it just regenerates on its own. The only time a Susano can uh, repair damage is if the Susano upgrades to the next form or a complete dispersion is used and then you reactivate it. That's the only way you're going to get your Susano repaired. 
And as powerful as Susano is, it is still susceptible to visual and auditory attacks. And in addition, the use of Susano with normal Mangekyo Sharingan wielders, it gradually deteriorates your eyesight and causes continuous immense pain throughout the entirety of the user's body. So this is not a technique that you can just use all the time when you have Mangekyo Sharingan because it deteriorates your eyesight slowly, slowly, slowly. This is crazy, but it also seems that once Susano is mastered, you no longer need Mangekyo Sharingan to activate it, considering Madara Uchiha used the technique without any eyes in his sockets at all, man. Like, this man used Susano with no fucking eyes. That's crazy. Going back to the Japanese lore, when Susano was banished to the earthly realm for harassing his older sister, Amaterasu, he was basically thrown from the heavenly realm because he was such basically a wild god who always uh, pranked his sister and destroyed stuff from his sister, Amaterasu, the sun goddess. So when Susano went down to the earthly realm, he found out that people were being uh, attacked by a giant eight-headed serpent named Yamato no Orochi. You might see some little parts in here that are familiar. So Susano destroyed him with his Tatsuka blade that he inherited from his father Izanagi. So once he killed the eight-headed serpent, inside the belly of the serpent he found the legendary Kusanagi grass cutter sword. A reference to this plot slash idea can be seen when Itachi Susano defeats Orochimaru's eight-headed serpent technique called Yamata no Jutsu. That's what Orochimaru's technique is called. So Susano, the first time it was seen, it defeated Orochimaru in his Yamata no Jutsu. That Jutsu that Orochimaru has is named after the eight-headed serpent Yamato from Japanese mythology. So you can clearly see the connections. There's a lot of heavy Japanese mythology references in this show that you might not have realized if you haven't kind of delved into the whole Japanese uh, lore slash mythology type stuff. It is also funny that Orochimaru usually keeps his sword in his stomach and stuff like that, his grass cutter, Kusanagi sword. and. When Susano killed Yamato in the lore, he found the grass cutter in his stomach. So it heavily ties back into a lot of the stuff in Naruto being related to Japanese folklore slash Japanese mythology. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Ninja Knowledge. If you learned something, hit that like button. If you're waiting for some more Ninja Knowledge, hit that subscribe button while you're over here. Let yourself get enlightened. Gain some insight. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll check you guys later. Peace.